talking. Yeah, start talking. Uh, Hello and welcome to the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Conference Finals from Exeter Lanes and Shooters Pub Sports Bar, Exeter, New Hampshire. This is the Northern Conference Finals between number five seed Nate Lees and number seven seed Matt Susie. I'm Paul Grant and you are? Greg Guillard. Thanks for joining us. We're going to start using lanes two and three tonight. Greg will be keeping score on the electronic scoreboard. 15 out of 25 matches, Greg, so far. The lowest seed has won based on seeding so far. Well, that's why we watch the game. There's always a lot of people who have skepticism about how much the seeds really matter. After all, there's a lot of wild cards as well, and anything can happen any night on the lanes, so it'll be intriguing to see what happens here between these two. Well, Matt Susi, the number seven seed, took out Josh Daly in the first round, a close match by seven pins. He was 0-14 against Daly during the year and won that first round. The second round beat number one seed, John Winchell, John beat him 14-0 in the regular season also, and Matt won that playoff match also. Now he's going against Nate Lees. He won the first string and lost 12 points out of 14. So he's 2-40 in the regular season against his three playoff matches during the regular season. Close now. It was a low-scoring match. I remember that one. So who five, knows what we'll see this time. 538 to 501 is regular season against Nate Lees. But like, like Mark Ritchie and you say all the time, when the regular season starts, it's a whole new ball game. Well, this is it, the final round of the Northern Conference. The winner will face Justin Waters in the final of the ACST, the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour. And according to Danny Finn, I talked to today, he said the tentative date right now is Saturday, April 30th, semi-pro and pro, two separate matches together. And we stopped the first of five here from Exeter. And Susie has the three to the right, the seven to the left, looking at two pieces of wood from our view. Looks like three here now. For a spare, good try. Josh Daly was on his head pin very much like Matt Susi in that opening round match, but uh, Matt prevailed in the end. Josh, a bright young future, just 22 years old. 10 for Matt Susi to start the first of five here from Exeter. The Atlantic Candlepin singles to a conference finals, Northern Conference. 64 teams between the pro and the semi-pro. Next year will be Class A, Class B, and a new Class C coming out next year, as well as a main ACST as well. Susie off to the right. Gets three. Great tournament term. Currently organized by Danny Finn, or expanding in a hurry. Matt won 619 to 592 for John Winchell. Second round, nice shot! A spare. 20 the ball through two here in the first from Exeter. For a great time, check out Shooter's Pub Sports Bar, Exeter Lane, 6 Columbus Ave. Award-winning pizza, wraps, pool, ta pool tables, billiards, darts, a whole lot more. Large screen TVs, check out Shooter's Pub Sports Bar, Exeter Lane's here, Exeter, New Hampshire. Susie on the spare. Nice ball, nine. Eight pin left up, one piece of wood. Dean Sullivan, Lori Lewis here in attendance. Two great bowls. Susie won't go out. It's a tough piece of wood there. Too bad. It looked like he was on line for the pin there, but when it doesn't cover the pin fully, not with the red line, you never know what will happen. Susie just mentioned right now, it was touching. He's very surprised that didn't go. It wasn't there for nine. 38 through three in the first of five. Conference finals, the right to play Justin Waters. One of the Southern Conference. Again, tentative date, tentative date, neutral site to be determined Saturday, July 30th. And hello, friends, watching on the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour page on Facebook and on YouTube at Spread Eagle Productions. Glad to have you. Please leave a comment and let us know how we're doing. We love to hear from you. Thanks, Greg. Matt Susie, the Paul Grant shot, my least favorite shot, the half Worcester. Right, the three and the nine. Nice second shot. Five, seven, and eight. They match against Josh Daly at 29 head pin hits out of 50. 18 spears and two strikes. Gets an eight, 46 through four here in the first. He had five spears and two strikes in that third string, 147, including five 
spears in a row, five marks in a row. Back of the head pin, that's the three, six, and ten, one piece of wood. Three for five in the head pin so far. On again, off again, has a chance against the three, six, ten. They match against John Winch. They both had an 83 half to start the match. Missed a left, missed opportunity. The wood was pretty vertical there, so it wasn't exactly diagonal, which would have nicely lined up against the pins. That's why Matt Susi had to play so thin on it and didn't quite get there. And that's the Paul Grant special day. Missed the second, make the third. Ten box. 56 half for the number seven seed, Matt Susi. Trying to knock out another higher seed. Here's number five seed, Nate Lees. This is the fourth season of the ACST Pro Division. Matt Susi had 56. Nate will try to beat that. Nate was the first ever champion of the ACST Pro Division. Trying to get back in there. Starts with a spread eagle. For those who don't know the pins at home, it's the 2-4-7 to the left, 3-6-10 to the right. He's only got about 1% for Pro Bowls that would, according to spread eagle production stats. And just 20%. For 10 boxes, he gets two there. Lee starts off the seven. Naples, Justin Scally in the first round. Justin had to relocate his house because. Masons and Lemon started to close down, so he had to go to Haverhill. More of a neutral side for him, and Justin was strong. Had three strikes in the first five boxes for a double, and a triple strike in the second. As Lees goes for a spare, and the Calary won't go. Justin threw a 152 in that second string, had a triple strike and nine fill on that also. And Nate prevailed in the match. Nate, nice out for nine, 16 through two. Up against a 56 half. Justin had more strikes than spares in the match. He had seven strikes. But Nate with 32 headpin hits, 14 spares, and six strikes in that match. Gets a break kick, it's nine. Has the four pin for his first spare. And nails it. 26 in the ball through three. Justin Scott has his best year ever, he said. I still call him a young up-and-coming bowler. He's got that, looks like a teenager still. <laughs> I, I think he looks like a teenager, early 20s. Well, he's... A lot of upside for him still, too. Well, now that we've gone here, he's doing very grown-up things like organize the Mixed Worlds competition, which recently took place out of Haverhill Academy Lanes. Four in the sphere fill for Nate Lees. He's open here with the one, three, and the seven. He's at 30 through three with that spare four. It's Nate there, 38 through four. Against Keith Beaupre last week at Riverwalk, Nate won at 649 to 623, a season high series was 645. 649 the playoffs, coming up big when it counts. Has the five, eight, and seven to the left, one piece of wood. Got on the pocket there, didn't quite carry to the kingpin, so this will be very difficult. Try to kick it over, looks good. Look, go, oh, yes! What a shot for a spare. 48 half plus one. Matt Susi up by eight after five boxes in the first of five. From Extra Lanes, Extra New Hampshire, Paul Grant, Greg Gouya with you. Welcome to the conference finals, the ACST Northern Conference. The right to play Justin Waters, tentatively scheduled for April 30th, along with a semi-pro match as well that day. That'll be Danny Finn, the number six seed, against number two seed, Fina Gachana from the north. Danny Finn from the south as we switch to lane two. And Danny Finn, tournament organizer of the ACST. Susie, nice ball, but a split of 2-2. Two -two. 4-7 left, 6-10 on the right. One goes now. 6-10 and the 7, three pieces of wood. 
Why not Dean Sullivan? How's Dean Sullivan going to play the shot here? Going right, obviously. Six pin tip of the wood came at the five pin. Tip of the wood, he's saying on the right? Towards the five pin? We tried doing that. Good bid. That's the shot I would usually do. I find the little groove in the middle there. Won't go, but gets nine out of that mess. 65 through six in the first of five. Conference finals. Was likely trying to play the red line there, but instead got the left side of the wood. Still deflected into the seven and got the nine out anyway. Matt won the St. Patrick's Day tournament this year at Lita Lanes, Nashua. His first tournament, tournament win. He was also in the Chicha finals last year. That's the pack of five, the hay bale. He's going about 31% for pro bowlers that would. Point of spread equal production stats. That an explosive boy at an ACST high single this year of 184. Corey Lisi led the semi pro division with 165. Nice ball, but won't get the 10 to go. Good bid. Oh, getting the diamond alone was pretty good in its own right. He's had some monster strings this year, also. Thank you, John, and thank you, Robert, for your comments. Don't forget to uh, like the video and share it with all the uh, usual suspects, everyone who loves candlepin bowling. 10 box from Matt Susi, 75 through 7 here in the first. Nabbas down four points to uh, four pins to John Winchell. Uh, six actually. Going to that fifth string in that opening round. A uh, second round rather, semifinals. Won the match 619 to 592 thanks to a 145th string as he gets the triangle. And gets the spare. Second spare of the string, 85 and a ball through eight. That 619 consists of a 144 first string, 95, 134, 106, and 140. That's high ball, one good string, one bad string. Impressive 35 head pin hits, eight in the first and third string alone. On the bonus, right in the pocket, has the check mark. Six fill, 91 through eight. Also had 17 spares, three strikes. Had six marks in the first and in the fifth string also. Off to the right, at least up to two, four, and seven. John Wentz, one of the very steady bowler of the years. I believe should be in the Hall of Fame when his time comes. Susie, nice 10 off the wall. One box to go here in the first. 101 through nine. Two solid fills here and good pinning throughout. That's why we got the one dash one on the scoreboard. And John Wentz punched out a lot in that third string. He also had been 29 times against Matt in the conference semifinals, scored nine times in second string. 18 spares, one strike in the match. Tough luck loser. Susie, nice ball, nine. He's at the seven pin. Six for 10 in the head pin here in the first. Go right at that pin. He missed it. Let's go about 72% for Pro Bowls that would. According to Spreadical Production stats. Kept it on the lane throughout, just found the gap. It wasn't there, nine. It's a missed opportunity for the 110 first string from Matt Seuss, the number seven seed, who has taken up the number two and the number one seed so far. Two spares in that string. Pin well overall. Nate Lee's starting off here, second half for a string. On a spare, 48 in the ball, only four. 52 half down, four in the string, in the first of five from Exeter. Nice pocket hit. He's up to five to the right, the eight to the left. John, thanks for your comment. I moved the scoreboard. Let me know if that works any better. Nice 10. 
62 through 6. Seventh box for a string. Nice ball. Goal post, 7-10. That looked a lot better than that. Chasing 48 pins with four boxes to go. He was awesome last week against Keith Bofre. Him and Keith Bofre, the way they were throwing that ball last week, I thought they were both going to hit 700 the way they were throwing that ball. About the seven to go, 10 leaves up. Played on the red line hard to get the pin to go left to right. Good pinning for Nate Lees, another 10. 72 through 7. Up against a 110 strength from Matt Susi. Nate, the number 5 seed, has beaten the number 4 and the number 3 seed so far. He's the home bowler today. Head pin, this time for a strike. Got the dominoes to deliver. First strike of the match, read the side. Second mark of the string. 82 plus 2. With the big film, Nate Lees could be on track to take the lead. For double! Nine! Ooh, just the wrong way on that four pick. Good fill already. Big fill, 91 through eight. For a spare, yes! 101 of the ball in the ninth. Only missed two single pins last week for spares. On the bonus, head pin, left side, crosses over, gets the pack of five. Only five for 10 in the head pin. 107 through nine, he's gonna win the first string. No points here in the playoffs, total pinfall for five strings. One string roll up if they tie. Eight box. One, or one more ball to go. And like I said, eight box. I'm not a clairvoyant, Greg. <laughs> 115 first string for number five seed. Great finish to take a slight lead. Nate Lees leads by five, the first ACST championship winner. In this fourth season now, the ACST now has a five pin lead. Four more to go from extra lanes. Shooters Club Sports Bar. Paul Grant, get Guri are with you. Greg? Well, two extra mark for Nate Lees, an extra strike and an extra spare, but because of the Fill quality, Matt Susie was able to make the most of it, especially with a spare nine. And that's why the gap is closer than the two marks you would think it would be. An event, in, a, in a way to help, pro help uh, promote candle pins for cancer, we're asking people to donate one dollar to the lemon drop pool. If you punch out the four or the six pin on your first shot, please donate one dollar to Al Johnson's candle pins for cancer. You can Venmo it, give it to Al Johnson, myself, Paul Grant, or Frank DeLuca, or put it in a jar at the bowling lanes. You also have the wow shirts, get your wow on. Help support proceeds to Candle Pits for Cancer. I guarantee it'll improve your game. <laughs> Second string underway, Matt Susi off to the right. Gets a little bit of action, gets five. Has the one, gets six now. The one, two, eight, and the ten. Two pieces of wood. I don't know of many mindset coaches that would recommend saying wow, but there is method to the madness, I would say. Well, you put wow, it just makes you feel good. When you put a wow, it makes you feel like it's awesome, like a, like a regular t-shirt. Miss that shot. I absolutely believe that. Just a little wide right of the head pin. I'll have to have Bob Lee do a study on a uh, wow, wow t-shirt success rate. Susie, tough start here in the second. A six box, down five coming in. Matt, two and 40 against his three playoff foes. Has gone by two so far. Another challenge here. Nice ball, nine. Eight pin left up. Six for 10 in the head pin in that first string. Either Shannon John and Dominic who've all commented. A spare. 16 the ball through two. Nice bounce back in that six box. His third spare of the match. Nothing a mark can't repair. Sure, you lost four pins on the first box, but an average spare fill is about six and a half. 
But a good headpin hit. Stacy could be back on track. 64 headpin hits combined those first two playoff matches so far. On the headpin, nice ball, but look at this. A mini picket fence. Eight, nine, and ten has wood to help. Not awful. Eight and nine is easy. Ten is going to be the difficult part. But again, another good fill. Seven in the spare, 23 through two in string number two of five from Exeter. For a spare, right in the middle. Susie with an eight, 31 through three. Matt from National New Hampshire works at Lee Lanes in National New Hampshire. High single is overall, it's 189, had a 184 in the ACST. Chris Winniard threw a 142 in the same string. They both had double strikes in the second and third box, but Chris throws a 142 and loses by 42. That's how good Matt was. Drills eight there as the five and seven. You say the phrase hard luck loser all time. That is the epitome of hard luck loser. Matt Sissy playing police officer here, bring up the stop sign. Gets a break, has just a seven pin now. Missed it last string for a spare. The difference in the match so far, down five, coming in. And this time he gets it for a spare. Two spares in the first, two spares in the second. 41 the ball through four. 76% we said on single pins. That's about right for Matsusi so far in this match. 72% is based on Pro Bowl. It's like the Channel 5 shows. Could be around 68%. Depending on your average. Susi goes left, gets the Clary. Five on the fill, 46 through four. Second string of five. Conference Finals, ACST. Justin Waters awaits the winner. Nice ball, let go, almost. Ooh, what helicopter across the deck. It got halfway across to the eight pin. We had averaging 118 in the Summer League this season. Just a 113, the ACST was out of the playoffs for a while, like Nate Lees, but he came storming back. Gets a nine there for a 55 half. Had a 56 half in the first, 55 here in the second. Nate Lees, the number five seed leads, number seven seed. Won the first, 115 to 110. Starts off a second string here in lane three. On strength three spares, 115 in the first string. This time. He goes left, has the one. That goes away now. Now it's the three, the seven, and the eight. Decent wood to help. Two pieces. Just five for 10 in the head pin that first string. Missed the object pin, won't carry. Though the wood did collect the object pin, this does inner pins that always make those sorts of leaves really difficult. And on his object pin again for a 10 to start the second. Up nine the match right now. But up against a 55 half Matt Susi. Yeah, he got two object pins without actually hitting the object pin. Strange way to get a 10 box, but that's why we love the game. Off the right half, Wister. Last week was brilliant, those first three strings, especially against Keith Beaupre. That could have gone either way. Punches out two, has the check mark plus the six and 10. Nate had a 141, a 132, and a 128. 401 series. First three strings against Keith. Conference semifinals, good bid there. And a 116 to 132, the last two strings. 649, 623 winner. The difference was the single pins. He made six out of he made four more single pins for spares. That was the difference in the match. Back in the pocket for a strike, he gets it. And after getting three object pins in an eight box last time, he gets his due. Strike in the first, strike here in the second. 28 plus two through three. He was missing the head pin a lot last week, only 27 of 50 in the head pin, but had a lot of good action and took advantage of his second shot. A lot of spares including 20 spares and five strikes. Gets the pack of five, working on a strike on lane three. In the middle, is the one and the seven, eight and the strike, 36 through three.
the field goal for an eight, 44 through four. And thank you to all 60 of you watching live on Bowling, uh, excuse me, on Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Facebook and on YouTube later at Spread Eagle Productions. Don't forget, if you like the video, please like the video on whatever platform you're on and share the video so that more people can see. And please share the Bowling Nerd Network and Candlepin Chat if you haven't done so already. Leeds gets four. Last week he had a spare every box to start each string. The first, second, and third string had three spares in a row each string. That's his open here in the fifth box. Three spares in the first, three in the second, three in the third to start the string. Had five consecutive ten boxes in the third string as well against Keith Lopre. He gets a ten for a 54 half. Halfway through the second string here from Exeter in Shooters Club Sports Bar, Exeter, New Hampshire, the number five seed leads the match by four over number seven seed Matt Susie. And Nate Lee's also saved half a mark there despite getting one uh, one fewer mark. He only lost, he lost three fewer pins than Matt Susie, so that's creating some advantage as well. That's why it's so close. Mark Greg Gouillard and Paul Graham with you live. Thanks for joining this great game of Kendall from Bowling. Susie gets the Clary. Not anymore. Six pin goes away. That's the one, three, eight, and ten. One piece of wood. Matt lost the first, 115 to 110. Up by one here, 55-54. Just off to the right, will it come back? Yes! A legal block in the back for a spare. Third spare of the string, fifth of the match. Any way they fall, Greg. 65 and a ball through six here in the second of five. Conference finals. Justin Waters awaits the winner. Tentatively scheduled for April 30th on Saturday. Thank you, Dave, Justin, and Shannon for watching and commenting. On the bonus, right down the middle. 3-2 split. Five in the spear, 70 through six. Matt's division in the ACST was very competitive. Oh, good try. He's up to four and seven. Yeah, at a record of 134 and 118 with a tournament average of 113. And Keith Bopre in his division won the division. Nick Leach and Chris Winnie guys just missed the playoff by three points, three pins. Uh, three points, I should say, in the standings. Each is 129 points. Aaron St. Cyr got the win at the end, 132 points to make the eighth spot. As Seuss gets a 10, 80 through 7 here in the second. Matt averaged a 111 in the ACST first string, and he had a 110 here tonight. He averaged a 112 in the 18 week season, going twice a month on average in the second string. Head pin again, another split, not anymore, breaks up again. Justin Waters anxiously watching on to see who his competitor will be. Winner moves on to face him in the ACST final. Two and the four, 51% chance to convert, according to spread equal produ production stats for Pro Bowlers without wood. And he gets it. Four spare of the second string, nagging a ball through eight. Justin Watts has one of the smoothest deliveries I've ever seen. Just precision precision timing of the shot. Well, we know he's a golf pro as well. Meanwhile, Matt Susi is open spare, open spare, open spare, open spare. Justin Watts gives golf lessons at Marlboro Country Club. If you're interested, contact Justin Watts there, Marlboro Country Club. Susi off to the right gets six, has the one, two, nine, and ten. One piece of wood. 96 to 8 in the second of five from Exeter. Matt's lowest score this season was 82 in the ACST. His high three was 423 in that 18 week, last week of the season. We had the 184 string. His high series is 677 at seven 600 series in the regular season. Just the head pin there, at least at the one and the ten. Welcome, Jordan. Nice to see you. Is that Jordan Britton? Sure is. Jordan Britton, your brackets are busted. I'll, I'll play off long. Only one number one seed remains. That's Justin Waters. And one number two seed for Nelly Gachana in the semi-pro. Susie at 10, 106 through 9 here in the second. Certainly better than his last string, but still Nate Lee's within a mark. Matt Susi, two 600 series so far here in the playoffs. Has a 2-2 two -two split, has the 2-4 to the left, 6-10 to the right. 
Six for ten in the head pin here in the second. Six spares in the match. Two in the first, four here in the second. His lowest score is a 501. In the middle. And that was against Nate Lees during the season. He won the first string by 19, but lost the rest of them. Oh, nice oh. out. Always easy the second time around for a nice 10. And a 116 second string for the number seven seed, Matt Susi. Well, he did throw. Sorry, Greg, 226 through two. Sorry for the interruption. I was just going to say, Matt Susi did throw a spare ball in every even number box. One. That's odd. <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> 116 above his average. Nate Lees up four in the match coming in. The second half of the second string. That's the one, eight, six, and ten to the right. One piece of wood. Nice ball! Wow, what a shot! Wow! It's fair off the wall! First spear of the string is one strike also. Five marks in the match. What a shot! 64 in a ball through six. He's had a sweet spare conversion already. Goes left, has the four spin right, the one, three, six, and ten. He's got about 36% for pro bowl as I would according to Spread Eagle production stats. 70 through six. Off the wall this time. Look, oh, yes! The 10 came back and got the six. One, three, sidewall, 10, six, naturally. Wants a good spare fill here. Is it, the average spare fill has been less than four by my count. 18 a ball. Looks good here, but look at this. Not so lucky this time. Not four sevens left in the Woolworth discount. Five and ten. Not One for, piece of wood. Not for lack of head pin hits. Six on the fill, though. 86 through seven. Try to kick it over. Good try. It's nine. 95 through eight in the second of five. Conference finals, Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour, Pro Division Northern Conference from Exeter Lane, Shooters Pub Sports Bar. Unlucky for Nate Lees, that was his first time on the head pin in a few boxes, and then he got that back row leaf. Back in the head pin, we'll go for a strike. Not quite, almost. Oh, that got tapped twice. Eight pin left up, guarded by four pieces of wood. For his fourth mark, yes. Three spares and one strike in the second. 105 and a ball. Chance to bust into the 120s with a good fill. Won the first, 115 to 110. We'll take the lead even higher after two. Three more to go after this. Head pin right down the middle, 3-2 split. Five in the fill, 110 through nine. Matt had a 116 here in the second. Gets one there, We're tied in the string with one ball to go. Make with five spares and two strikes in the match. Nice out for a nine, good pinning as usual for Nate Lees. 119 second string, 234 through two. And with three more strings to go from extra lanes, the ACST Conference Finals, Northern Conference, it's 234 to 226. An eight pin lead for the former champion, Nate Lees, who won the first ever ACST Pro Championship. Close match here in Exeter. And Nate Lees came really close in 2020, he made it to the Northern Final last time, falling up short to John Winchell, who put a pretty good playoff run this time, but not to be this year. John Winchell, one of the most consistent bowlers I've known. Very steady ball. Can't win all the time, but good battle with Matt Susan. Catch that rebroadcast. All the playoffs for the matter on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe for free while you're there. Third string underway. Susie in the pocket. Has the half whistle left. The two, the eight. One piece of wood, seven pins to the left. Such a, 
Six for ten, they had pinned the first two strings. Such an annoying split. He had that back pin that Wood came across but didn't quite tap it over. Now he's got two, seven, eight. For a spare. Missed the object pin. So close. Paul Grant, Greg, who we are with you? Thrilled to be with you here this conference finals. Eight box to start the third. Matt Susie right on his tournament average of 113 and Actually, guess what? Nate Lees is on his tournament average too, which is 117, and he's got 234 through two. So on paper, it's playing out exactly as planned for now. Matt averaged a 112 in the 18-week ACST season. If you want to join the ACST in Maine or here in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, contact Danny Finn in Maine, contact Matt Huff or Mark Weber, Spread Eagle. Great job at Danny Finn, Kate Finn, and Chris Ewing, the ACST. Now a C division start next year. And we'll be there to cover some of those matches as well. Susie gets three in the right. And gets a nine after the spread eagle start. 17 through two here in the third of five. Yep, only three pins lost on those two spare conversions. The ball looked a little left out of his hand, but Got there at the 4 7. Matt uses 2.7 pound bowling balls. High single overall 189, high triple 442. Has a high five of 672. His high 10 is 1283. His high 20 is 2501. Steals a couple on left side. Has the 1, 2, 9, and 10. Two pieces of wood off to the left. Still waiting for a good leave on the head pin, but once you know is not awful, if you can slice both pins diagonally with the piece of wood on the left, there's a chance. Matt off the head pin, he's up to one of the ten. I love the story that Matt is a natural born bowler, and I asked him, what do you mean by that? His mother actually broke water bowling one time on the lanes. So he came basically in the, in the world on a bowling alley, in a sense. I mean, anything's possible. A couple actually recently got married at uh, Brighton Bowl, believe it or not, just on the lanes. Eight blocks, 25 through three. Slow start here for the number seven seed. He's already beaten the number two and number one. Had a fierce competitor, all business. He loves poker, by the way. Definitely has a poker face on the lanes. Head pin goes from that time, but has the eight and the 10. Three pieces of wood. Make it two now. Let's see where he plays this shot. Well, you can give him credit for a head pin hit, but unfortunately that's a, his third split out of four boxes here. There is wood, it's still migrating towards the front of the lane. We'll see if there's a way he can deflect it on the line or thereabouts into the eight, and have the pin take the ten, maybe. By rule, that wood must completely stop as Matt surveys the wood before you throw the ball. I'm thinking red line here, but that's why I'm back here. Got Jeremy and JJ. Good to see you again after the Easter Classic. Nice try, almost. Yeah, got some right to left action on that 10 pin. Not to be. So I want to get a mark. Next box. Nine. 34 through four in the third of five. Had two spares in the first, four in the second. Looking for his first mark here in the third. Got an alternation pattern going again. Eight, nine, eight, nine. Had a 110 in the first, 116 in the second, 226 through two. Nate, 115, 119, 234 through two, up eight in the match. Susie gets a break with a one and a two. Really could use this mark here, Craig. And gets it on cue. Seven spear of the match, first in the third string. 44 half plus one for the number seven seed. Perfect timing. Now Nate Lees comes up. He's had four marks in every string so far. Nate Lees uh, last week had first halves of 76, 70, and 71. 60 and 69 on his 649 conference final win over Keith Beaupre. Keith Beaupre threw a great ball also as well. Could have gone either way. Keith is a dynamite bowler. Nate just a little, a little bit better that night. That's the one, three, seven, eight, one piece of wood. Justin Skelly had that call. Catch it on Spread Eagle Productions. Nice ball, he got it! He made some great shots for spares. 
Ten to the ball to start the third. Six bears and two strikes in 21 boxes for the number five seed. On the head pin, two full, spread eagle. 14 after one in the third of five. Conference finals, Pro Division Northern Conference, Atlantic Kennelton Singles Tour. Comes back, steals a couple more, leads up, oh, almost took them all. Almost stole a spare on that one. I turned my back, there were two pins down, and suddenly they just kept falling. You know? Blink of an eye, you got a nine out of that. After two shots, five in that second shot. 10, not bad. 24 through two, up against a 44 half, plus one bonus ball from Matt Susi. By contrast, Nate has gotten all the pins down for the first two boxes. Keith Beaupre was awesome. He had 33 head pin hits in that match last week, the first ball. As Nate goes head pin, gets triangle, right? The six, nine, and the 10. Keith had a scores of 130, three strings north, 125, and a 118. 33 head pin hits, 18 spares, six with nine fills, five strikes, 23 marks. He missed six single pins for spares, which could have been the difference in the match. Almost 50% mark percentage. Yeah. Leads the nine, 33 through three. Here in string number three. We have a lot of great bowlers coming up the ranks. That's why you want to uh, get the Atlantic Kennelton Singles Tour. The, the more can competition, competition you bowl against, whether it's A, B, or C, the better bowler you become. And we saw a lot of great bowlers as Naked 7, the 1, 3, and the 7. A lot of great bowlers coming up the ranks. In the semi-pro, you got Jordan Britton, Corey Lisi, Logan Gingrash. going to see Justin Lyonnais and Chris McDonough step up in the pro division next year. You got Danny Finn on the rise. Nice shot. He got it for a spare. 43 and a ball through four here in the third. And we hope you're all enjoying the format as well. After all, the ACST puts importance on every single string, points available every single string. Makes it a very interesting format. And we hope you're enjoying it at home. Nate on the spare fill in the pocket light. It's the pack of five. 48 through four. We have three women in the ACST next year, Kate Finn. Sharon Britton and Faye Sawyer. Nice ball, won't go. Eight pin left up. Good bid. Seems like there was a force field around that eight pin. I'm amazed nothing came over there. Is that 48 through four? And a 10 for a 58 half. The number five seed leads the match by eight coming in. And right now he's up 14 here in the third, but Matt Susi on a spare as we shift over to lane two. Paul Grant, can I go with you here? from Extra Lane Shooters Club Sports Bar. Live band here tonight outside. Come on down, check it out if you have time. Great place to hang out, Shooters Club Sports Bar, 6 Columbus Ave, X Mansion. Record preacher. No, I'm just kidding, my mouth isn't full this time. <laughs> Significant fill coming up right now. Matt Susi has had an average fill of about five and a half or so. Average spare fill, according to Spritical Production Stats, about six and a half of sp spares for four bowlers. No, it's north of six, excuse me. Including this one. <laughs> and 8.3 for strikes. Eight on the spare fill, that's the seven and nine. Sounds like a Star Trek character, seven of nine. Pretty alien leaf, but the piece of wood could get across. Big eight fill, nice try, won't go. Ooh, he went high on the wood. Any lower, perhaps it could have, the ball could have carried him to the seven, the pin take the nine. Everything fell short of each of the pins. So 52 half, and eight box, 60 through six. Halfway through, he's down 12 in the match. Make that 14 in the match. Trailed eight coming in. Down six here, halfway through the third. Hello to Blanca, Corey, and all 50 of you watching. And one shout out to the Lady Bowls. We have the women's double event here two weeks from tomorrow. Extra lanes, X New Hampshire. Susie head pin hit a 2 1 split. 3 6 to the right, 4 to the left. September 10th, a women's doubles event. Big event here. 18 teams so far. Ladies need six more teams. Potential $2,500 first place prize. For 10 o'clock, shifts six more teams. For 10 o'clock, the 12 o'clock shifts are sold out. Some great people on that list. 
Matsusi has had five splits and seven boxes right now. That's why he's having to work for every single pin right now. It's neat. Third straight time on the road in the playoffs, but it's taken advantage so far. Twice here in Exeter. Does bowl in the Sunday Pro League as well, monthly Pro League. Eight box, 68 through seven. Needs to get going here though. Thin hit. Can't buy a break on the head pin either. Six, nine, 10 right. Seven pin left corner, three pieces of wood. Nate Lee's 60 and 10, 13, week, 13 to 17th week, five weeks in a row. Going from like ninth to 10th place out of the playoffs to the fifth spot, 60 and 10. Susie's open. And then he ran to John Winch last week and bowled really well, but lost 12 to 14. But has been a beast in the playoffs. Also, two 600 pluses. 611 and 649 his first two rounds. Susie a nine, 75 through eight. Matt came in fourth place in the finals, the Chicha Nationals last year. Corey Pack had won that one. Joey Lister was second. Dave Barber was third. He slams down the split that time. Has the 3 6 10 on the right. Cool. It seemed like there was a little bit of extra mustard, and that's why the corner carried this time. For a spare, Mr. Wright. When he's not bowling, he enjoys poker, cornhole, and fishing. It's a nine box, 84 through nine, here in the third of five. His girlfriend April, his girlfriend April, his three kids, Natalie, 17 now. Nick will be 17 on July, my birthday, July 27th. Nick will be 17 on July 27th, and Zachis will be seven right now, be turning eight October 20th. That's the one, seven, six, and 10 to the right, two pieces of wood. Most like the PlayStation game system, like the band Slipknot for music. Hasn't got many conventional spare leaves, only one on the head pin. He's made his own luck once before with that washout conversion in the fifth. And the wood doesn't isn't awful here. Seven's the hard part. A lot of second shots he's missed. He's not as crisp as he was the last two matches. Splits make it tough too. It's both of those factors. That's gonna be very capable of bouncing back. He gets an eight. Double digits. Disappointing third string. Just 92 for the number seven seed. 318 through three. And he leaves trying to take advantage. Already up 14 in the match. Open here, six blocks, third string. From extra lanes, extra Hampshire. Conference finals, ACST, Pro Division, Northern Conference has a diamond. He's got about 27%. For Pro Bowl as that would. He's had a number of those thin leaves and they've impacted his spare fills as well. But diamonds skip have a chance to go. He made a diamond against the cluster before, but not this time. Nate gets two of the four. That's the six and the nine. He gets a nine to start the second half. 67 through six. But he gets a 92 strength from Matt Susie. Snake in a couple of rounds can distance himself quite a bit here in third. That's right, Matt Susi lost 16 pins in that, and Nate uh, Lees has only lost two so far. Nice ball, eight, that's the seven, eight. Three pieces of wood. Now well, let's see where it all settles right here. Is it going to obstruct or is it going to help? It looks as though it's maybe made a V shape in front. Now it's still rolling away. Actually, I think it's better gone than alive. Nate, two spares, one strike in the first, three spares, one strike in the second, two spares here in the third. Can it be number three? Oh, how did that not go? He can't believe it either. And good try. And a piece of wood rolled in front of the seven for good measure. That's good news from Matt Susi. He's a nine, 76 through seven. In the third of five. Justin Waters awaits the winner. The championship match is tentatively scheduled, according to Danny Finn, Saturday, April 30th. We'll have two separate matches that day, both live. Semi pro will be first, and pro right afterwards. Neutral site will be determined. Nice ball there, gets nine, has the 10 pin left up. Six for nine in the head pin here in the third. Nate 
and used the wood and missed it. Only missed two single pins against Keith Bothray last week in a 649 win. It's a 10, 86 through eight. Back in the head pin, eight. Has the five and the nine. Two good pieces of wood, one in front to help. Yeah, that piece of wood in front is bridging the two pins perfectly. So it seems anyway. There should be a layup. And he gets it. Third spare of the string. Eight spares and two strikes in the match. The number five seed trying to punch his ticket in the championship match. Trying for a second ACST championship. No, no, nobody's won it twice yet. John Munchell made it twice. Won the first year. It was around to Sean Taylor last year. Nice ball for a strike. It's nine. The kingpin left up. That's the five pin. Eight for ten in the head pin. 105, another spare. Going the way here on the third. 115 in the ball. And that's what the importance of flow does. You get those head pin hits, you get those leaves, even if not all the spares come. They're bound to over the course of time. And with one more good head pin hit, Nate Lees could be in the 120s and firmly in control. To finish up the third string, head pin, get seven, make it eight. These up the goal poles, but a strong finish. Nine for 11, the head pin that string. A 123, third string for the number five seed. That brings him up to 357. And all of a sudden, it is 39, the lead. One by 31, that third string. Two more to go, Matt Susi. Just some monster strings this year. As he's got the fourth string here from Exeter. The Atlantic Candlepin singles tour conference finals, Northern Conference. Paul Grant, I agree with you live. For Nate Lacey, he got it four marks every single string. This time he got his average fill on every single mark. Six and a half exactly on spares, in fact. And that's how, between that and only losing three pins on the six open boxes, he gets his 120s and has a 39 pin advantage. Man up the high single of the ACST this year in the regular season, 184. He's also had a 155, a 150, a 147, and a 144 twice. So very capable of coming back. Head pin has the 4, 7, and the 10, two pieces of wood. Game of inches. We know Matt Susi, when he calibrates his ball just the right way, can be an explosive bowler. To your point with that 180-something string. We'll see if he's got another one in the bag here. Try to bounce it over. Could try. Will it go? Almost. Oh, the wood rolled behind the 10. It made it all the way across the plate and didn't quite get there. Disbelief on his face. That looked great, didn't it? Nine to start the fourth. Get your wow shirts to help support Candlepins for Cancer. Frank DeLuca will have next week. July 17th, the Candlepins for Cancer TV taping at, at uh, Lita Lane's National New Hampshire, 11 a.m. Tournament champions, top five bowlers square off. Who will win the championship match for the uh, Candlepins for Cancer tournament? Susie gets four. All proceeds, the WOW t-shirts, go to Candlepins for Cancer. You can see John Winchell in that 10-pin match on Candlepin Chat wearing the big WOW shirt. Nice bounce back, will it go? Yes! Spare in the second. Box, the fourth string, 19 in the ball, much needed. Let's get this. He's got eight spares in the match, still looking for his first strike. We've got the lemon drop pool, one dollar, the four pin and the six pin, your first shot. Help support Caleb Pin Cons from a fun way. Help a great cause. Off to the right. Gets a break, has the one, the two, and the eight behind the two pin. Good piece of wood in the middle to help. 26 through two in the fourth of five. For another mark, looks good. And he got it. Ball more like Matt Susi had to start the fourth. Second spare of the string, two in a row, 36 in the ball through three. That's the explosiveness and the power of the angle we were thinking about. Early days yet in this string, but this is the sort of start you want to be able to cut the gap. On the bonus. Nice ball for a strike. Nine. 
Seven pin left up. 45 through three here in the fourth. Three for three in the head pin. More relaxed here in the fourth string. For another spare. He got it. Yes, off the wood. Wood helped. Three spares in a row. 55 and a ball through four. There's that three in a row. There's the big fill starting to accumulate. If you ever get a 5 7 10 leave without a spare, without a piece of wood, that's called the Matt Susan special. He made that shot here in extra the Sunny Pro League. Off the head pin, gets a break, it's eight, has the three and the ten. 63 through four. Matt coming to life here on the fourth string. Steven, Jordan, and John, real quick, hello. We're in. Well, I have a second to breathe and say hi to y'all. And hello to Bob as well, I understand. From Putnam Street, Putnam Street Lanes. Another one. Oh, good try. That Wood robbed him that time. He was on the inside of the pin and didn't deflect over. And Wood got in the way that time. That looked good. Not his fourth spear in a row. Keeping Nate Lee's in his toes. That would have helped. It's down 39 coming to the string. Try to chip away. Gets a nine. Strong half, 72 half of the number seven seed, Matt Susley, in the conference finals, the ACST Pro Division North. Yep, three spares with an average fill of eight and only two pins dropped. That's how you start it. He still has some more work to do. Nate Lees is still ahead by about three months and this half in hand. But Nate Lees needs to do something. Otherwise, another half like that from Susie could make a difference. Nate Lees off to the left gets six, has the one, three, six, and the ten. Four for five in that head pin that time for uh, Matt Susie to start. Nate just off to the right. He's up to one and the seven. Yeah. Sorry, yes he did. It's I think that five for five, five for five in the head pin that actually. For Matt Susie, field goal for Nate, for Nate Lees. It's a 72 half from the number seven seed Matt Susie. Nate Lee's from Kingston, New Hampshire, originally Revere, Mass. Goes right, gets a break with the one and the eight. Three pieces of wood. His best string in the ACST 18 week regular season, 123 in the fourth string. 122 in the third. And missed the object pin. Last week is excellent in those second shots. Needs to get that head pin accuracy back. Nice pinning a 10, 18 through two in the fourth of five. 150 and 102, second place in his division number five seed. Hold the same division as John Winchell, Nick Norcross, and Tom Drake. 12 to 18 weeks, he was at or above his average of 117. Almost a Susie special, but it's a break, it's nine. Seven pin left up. Mr. Wright. Penultimate string to see who will face Justin Waters. Only one can advance. Nine, 27 through three. So many heartbreakers. The Justin uh, Lyonnais, Chuck DeRoges, uh, just a gut-wrenching loss to Chuck DeRoges. A thrilling match. You gotta watch that on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. A lot of great matches down to the wire. I haven't thought about that in a second. Nate Lees, Kaleri. Jordan was commenting earlier, oh boy, I wouldn't know how to pick the bracket. He only got one of four finalists between pro and semi-pro. It'd be tough to have a bracket challenge, especially with the seeds. All the upsets, all the pandemonium. You never know what's going to happen in this competition, and that's part of what, what you enjoy so much about it. Top seeds are 10 and 15 so far in the playoffs. Leads with a nine. Thirty-six through four. If he doesn't get a mark, it'll be interesting because he was down up 39. But if he doesn't get a mark here, then Matt's going to chop off mid-20s off the deficit. And this is a tough leave here. The 4, 7, and the 5. No wood, no luck. Sometimes that piece of wood will stay on on that leave like that. The leave Dan Castle, one of our uh, commentators throughout the season. He hates this one. Good try. Look, Look. Oh, almost. What a bid. 
That darn near fell sideways. My goodness. He launched that chuckle once this past year. Heck of a try by Nate Lees. And pulls a left for a nine. Disappointing 45 half. So 27 pin lead in the string for Matt Susie. All of a sudden it's a 12 pin lead for Nate Lees. Halfway through the fourth of five here from Exeter. Conference finals, ACST Pro Division Northern Conference. Paul Grant with Greg Gouillard live. Perfectly cromulent word as Jordan puts it. A lot of parity, a lot of competitive balance. Two bowlers average is close on paper. And it's producing a great match here. Susie head pin. Breaks it the wall with discount. We'll go for a strike. Oh, the Weeble Wobble to Gusko. A delay of game span strike. A strike. His first one of the match. Broke up the Weeble. It's not supposed to fall down. I'm getting old if you don't know what a Weeble is. Look up on YouTube. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. 82 plus 2 through 6. Back in the head pin has the three to the right, the four to the left, wood to help. Two pieces. Eighty-two through six. Plus two, sorry. He's on a strike though. And he's spare on strike. Make it eighty-four through six, ninety-four and a ball through seven. Four spares and one strike here in the fourth. Uh, correction, it isn't. That was right the first time. 92 through 6, 102 in a ball through 7. Any good Phil Matsusi now has the lead. On the bonus, back in the head pin, another split. Oh, he break up the right side. Bingo. There what a it kiss. Is. Looked like a 3, 6, 10, and a 4. Now it's just the 4 pin. That almost went too. This is why we watch every string. Look at this. 111 through 7, and gets another one. Incredible boy, he's got three in a row. Six marks in the string. 121 on the ball through eight. Yep, this is 140 space for her. Near certain at this point. Five spares and one strike. And after Matt Susie went through such a rut, trying to get something to break up on the head pin, having a hard time finding the head pin. Now, suddenly, we're seeing this Matt Susie. On the spare, nine! Six pin left up. What a performance, 130 through eight. Eight for nine in the head pin this string, putting it all together here in the fourth. For another one. Oh, just missed it. Feel the breeze back here in that one. When you're pulling so good like that, it just irks you when you miss that shot. So close. It's frustrating, but still in a powerful first head in head, creates an above average fill and continues this dominant string. And Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third, 140. Through nine. Like I said, he's had some big strings this year. Only 184 in the ACST. Corey Lisi, 165 in the semi pro bowlers. Had the high single. He's also thrown a 155, a 150, a 147, and a 144 twice. Back in the head pin. And there's the Susie special. Not anymore. Just a five and seven now. No wood. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube for more great action like this. Punch out the five pin. For all the best bowlers, subscribe and hit the bell icon as well to be notified about all our future videos. We've got a lot more to come after having already done a lot in our first year. And after that missed chance for a spare, he gets a 10, a 150 for Matt Seuss, the number seven seed. As Justin Scally likes to say, we've got a whole new ball game, folks. So now, Nate Lee's can pin, if Nate Lee's got all 10s in theory, he would be 16 behind right now, but he's gotten a consistent four marks per string. None so far. Lee's gets seven, that would look good too. Six, 10 on the right, seven on the left. He goes from 318 through three, Matt Susie to 468 through four. Lee's is open. Big momentum swing here in the fourth. Matt has tend to have a good string and a bad string, good string and a bad string, and so he gets a nine, 54 through six. 
He was up 39 after three. But Matt Cece, a chance to the lead after four. One string to go after this for the conference championship. And the right to play Justin Waters from the solid. Head pin, a 3-1-1 one, one split. 3-6-10 on the right, 7-8 to the left. Two pieces of wood. I might have been a little harsh on Matt earlier, but now he only lost two pins on those four open boxes as well, so the pinning is starting to level out as well. Captain missed everything. Lees and Seuss have been spectacular in the playoffs. Need a little bit off tonight. Nice out there at nine. 63 through seven. Pin a box, nine a box, simply. Looking for his first mark in the fourth. At a 115, a 119, a 123, getting better by four pins so far every string. Uphill battle here in the fourth. Matt, 110 in the first, 116. And look at this, a center west of 1-5. Yikes. Matt, 110, 116, 92, and 150. That's a high bowl. A good string and a bad string like that. What a strange thing. Nate's had a thin, a lot of thin hits on the head pin. Now he gets dead accurate like this, and he's having to fight for every pin again with his fourth consecutive split the string. Nine for 11 in the head pin last string, only five this time. Three, four in the 10. Good try. Good nine, buddy. Good nine. Come on. Another nine, though. 72 through eight. What a turnaround by Matt Susi. Eight, 10, and a bunch of nines. It's good pinning that's keeping Nate Lee's competitive in this, but as it is, he's still trailing by those same couple of marks. Nice ball, two full again. Another split, the 6 10 on the right, 7 on the left. Some wood to hope to drive over. Five consecutive splits, but the piece of wood might be tilted slightly. It's difficult, but we'll see. Nice try. So Matt Susi actually had 94 total in that third string on 92. Okay. So that'll change things a little bit. So I'll give him actually 470 through four now. We're going by the scoreboard up there, so it was off a little bit. Leads a 10. 82 through nine. Shades of Al Nelson, that mixed worlds. 82 through nine, no marks, and a strike and a miraculous spare to win by one pin over high-low dispensary in match three on Spiritical Productions. Matt Susi was short, changed two pins, but it pretty much keeps the situation the same. A three-mark difference in this match in favor of Matt. Nate leaves a bit more, better chance here for a mark with a one, two, four, and the eight. Piece of wood in between the two and the four. Really could use his first mark here. Off to the left, won't come back. He has a sixth sense about that. He turned around even though he was on the head pin. He just somehow knew he wasn't going to carry that king pin. An uncharacteristic open string for Nate Lee's number five seed. A 92 string. And the fourth string, which ties his lowest string of the year. Only had six strings in the whole season in the 90s. Two a 99, one a 98. A 92 fourth string. And one string to go in the conference championship for Mexico Lanes and Shooters Puff Sports Bar. Let's get the latest total here from Greg. 470 to 449. Final damaged count. Matt Susi, one strike, five spares. So 150 to 92, a 58 pin win. And all of a sudden, a 21 pin lead? We'll confirm the score, but I, I see the transparency lighting up here at Exeter Lanes in New Hampshire. 470 21. to 449. 21 is indeed the gap. This is why folks should never give up when you're down. A nine drop there, and gets a strike, almost a strike, but nine drop. Couldn't see that 10 pin from a vantage point, it's blocked out. <laughs> missed it. Be a nine box. Missed one in the fourth, one here to start the fifth. Those can come back to haunt you. Nate Lee is very capable of throwing the same game. It's Matt Susi. A ball on the channel stays in the channel. Why? That's why that down 10 pin doesn't count. Susie on the head pin this time. 
He does break it up, and he's got the four pin for the spare lead. That's his third nine drop in the last few boxes. See if he can convert here. He's missed his last two. And he missed another one. Crucial misses. Red Hot 150 in the last string has missed three now in a row. In the last several boxes, seen himself calm down. 10, 19 through two. Let's go over some statistics here. Matt Susi has had one strike so far and got a spare on strike on that one. He's had 12 spares and 88 fill pins. Nate Lee's has 10 spares and only 56 spare fill pins on top of that. That's contributing a long way uh, towards this gap. Back in the head pin, has a check mark. Five to the right, three, six to the right. Was down 39 after three, up 21 coming here into the fifth. For a spare, gets it. 13 spares and one strike in the match for the number seven seed. Look for his third straight upset, 29 the ball through three here in the fifth. He's got three straight good leaves on the head pin. He made the most difficult one, and now another chance to get that powerful bonus ball working. Conference final championship on the line here. Susi, strike! Strike! I couldn't see it from here, Greg, but he got it to go. He, he missed the head pin and got it. Got a break off of this head pin. That's strike on spare. Huge for him, 39 through three, 49 plus two through four. That's the power of Matsusi's ball. Explosive as we say. You get some sidewall action, you get the pins moving, you never know. Susi has the post. He keeps holding out two fingers and it's never two fingers. Second shot. Nope. He's up the head pin. Try to get a better angle. Get a little blocked off here. Nine to strike. 58 through four. Nine. 67 half. Matt Susi, the number seven seed, trying to get in the conference championship. Uh, the actual championship against Justin Waters. Going in for the conference cha championship tonight here in the Northern Conference. 67 half. Nate Lee's down 21. On the head pin, eight, good start there. As the four and the seven should be a layup. Yep, he's, after those fills, he's basically down essentially 38, although he has does have this half in hand. With a good spare ball here, he can cut that gap immediately. For a spare, yes. Takes one at the lead, down 20 right now. Plus a spare, but up against a spare strike later on. Lowest five this year is 5-12. Thanks to all 57 of you watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. We're going down the stretch here on Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour and Spread Eagle Productions. Uh, you got a second time he's done a center Worcester. You gotta be kidding me. 12 after one down 18 in the match. 12 after one. The head pin can be cruel to you sometimes. Oh, nice second ball. Half west to right, the 3 9, 8 to the left. Nate's high single this year, uh, overall single is 189. High triple 464. Has a high five of 698. Gets a 9, 21 through 2, up 2 in the string, down 19 in the match. Rub gets a spare strike and a 9. Matt Seuss, the number 7 seed, is 67 half. Nate, the home bowler out of Extra Lanes here, Extra New Hampshire, also bowls at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Beautiful new restaurant and bar there, Academy Lanes also. Just opened up. Nice ball for a strike, nine. He's up to 10. Tapped, it didn't quite drop. And of course, he uh, organized Mixed Worlds at Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Mass as well. Trying to bounce back from that 92 fourth string. It's tied for season low. Gets a spare. Second one this string, 31 the ball through three. Here comes Nate Lees. Won the first ACST championship. Now in its fourth season. Number of marks in each string, four, 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 zero. He needs more than four here to stay alive. 
31 of the ball through three. Oh, gets a strike here, though. Right in the pocket, gets the hay bale, the pack of five. 36 through three, down three in the string, 24 in the match. He's hit this head pin from a variety of angles, adding to the frustration. The accuracy's been there, but not always the carry. He knew it right away. These are the two, four, seven. Nine, 45 through four, down 13 the string, 34 in the match. Led by 39 after three, but Matt Susi, 150, fourth string, the difference right now. At a 147 against Josh Daly, and a 140 against John Winchell in the fifth string. Triangle, and four, seven, eight in the 10, three pieces of wood. Five for five in the head pins, fifth string. Not awful, although they think the wood is angled badly, if I had to say. Could he really use this mark? Can he kick it over? He got it! Big spear in the fifth! 55 half plus one. Yep, he stays alive. He's trailing by about 33 pins, minus this ball, essentially. So he may still need about three more marks to top this and need to fade a few, ball, a few boxes from Matt Susi. We're going down the stretch here. Final five boxes to decide who will face Justin Waters in the ACST final. Paul Grant, can I with you live? If you want to join the ACST next season, please contact Danny Finn, F-I-N-N, -N, Danny Finn, on Facebook, or Millis at Ryan Film and Musings, Route 109, Millis, Mass. Susie goes to the left, gets three. If you want to go in Maine, contact Mark Weber or Matt Huff. ACST coming to Maine this September. Typically, it's an 18-week season. Two matches a month scheduled, flexible schedule. Great to help enhance your game of bowling. Susie, nice ball, he got it to go! Five pin and came back. Two spears and one strike here in the fifth. 77 in the ball through six. Looked lifeless after the after three strings, but a 154th string after a 94 third string, the difference. Never know what's going to happen down the stretch. A few more good fills from Matt Susi. They could put Nate Lees into the miracle zone where he'll start requiring double strikes to make it work. Right down the middle, a 3 2 split. 82 through 6 here in the fifth. We'll talk to the winning bowler back here afterwards. Nice try. Susie, the 2 4 and the 7 going for 10. And gets a 9. 91 through 7, the final string of the match. Should there be a tie, be a one string roll off. We had one of those already with Danny Finn and Jordan Britton, and a near one with Justin Lyons, Chuck DeRoges. We're quite away from that, but that's also because of those important pins on splits like that, where the box could so easily be less. Matt Susie pins well and gets himself up to a 9. Susie gets a break, has the one. Oh, it comes back for nine. Almost had a Julian. Like he did once already earlier. I'll never remember what Julian is. That's an old term when the um, head pins last from a fall and back to a strike. The Julian. Missed it. He's missed four single pins. Three this string alone, one in the... Four string, got that 150. He missed again for nine. 100 through eight. Yep, already has his 120, doing his job well. Matt averaged a 116, his best string in the ACST 18 week season, 116 in the fifth string. He was explosive those last two weeks, and he's had the way to putting those big strings together in the playoffs as well, and we're seeing it again here. Only two. Get your WOW shirts to help support Candlepins for Cancer. Contact myself, Paul Grant, or Frank DeLuca. Get more confident at bowling. Get your WOW on the WOW shirts to help Candlepins for Cancer. Seuss so comes back, leads to the five and seven. Also, the $1 lemon drop pool. Any lemon drop, the four, the six pin in your first shot. Please donate $1, optional donation to Candlepins for Cancer, use Venmo, League Treasurer, or myself, Paul Grant, Frank Luker, or Al Johnson. And the Candlepins for Cancer Tournament Champions coming up 
July 17th. And I'll run the bear for Danny Finn, Kate Finn. It's July 23rd at Millis. And also September 17th as well. I'll run the bear. A great cause put together by the Hall of Famer Brawlers and their families afflicted, certainly at best financially by this disease. What a great show and what a great organization they've put together. Susie's studying this wood. There's an off chance it could ramp off a piece of wood. Oh, we got up the wall! Wow! Spare the ninth! Unbelievable! Oh, that's, that's, it's a 10. They put spare on the board. Make that a 10. Like I said, those usually don't go for spares. Well, we deal in honesty and accuracy on okay. this show. Heck of a 10. That's on me, too. I was studying the leave and everything. Sheesh. Kid seven. That would have been a good fill. That was one of the college one of an edit button. <laughs> Okay. As the one, four, and seven. Okay, step one. This is a spare leaf. Step two. This is a head pin with a piece of wood behind it. Seemingly angled right at and it. And won't go. Good try. Hey, Wobbling seven. Yep. That shot, Matt Susie, even at the school keeper put down a spare, looks so good. And that's one count. That's nine. The 119. Fifth string. No 600 for the first time. Ends up with 589. Will it be enough? Nate Lees, 55 in the ball, down 12 in the string, 31 in the match. Is that right? 21, 33 in the match. 33 down now, but on a spare. And only one spare this half, Matt Susie, with the five fill. Third time the sent to Worcester. you got to be kidding me. Two fill, 57 half, down 10 in the string. 31 in the match. Absolutely deadly on this one. Matt Susie's spare average. Uh, average fill has been over seven. Nate Lee's five. Punched out two. Could be in double strike territory now. So actually they've gotten a comparable amount of marks. Both of them two strikes. Susie 14 spares, Lee's 13. Tough seven. 64 through 6. The first ever ACST champion here. Nate Lee's in trouble here. And Exeter in the fifth. Always a force in these tournaments. He went far last time. He made it to the Northern match last time. That was a 2020. Half west to right. Got a mark out. Got a chance. 649 season high last week. Both balls not even close to 600 tonight. Well, now you had a 589. But they were both over 600 their first two rounds in the playoffs. Nice up. Another seven, though. Make it nine. Two more fell down. 73 through seven. Needs three big marks. We'll try and snag some post-game interviews after. We apologize for the lack of pre-game interviews. I had some technical issues on the way in here. Susie has a big lead. He has nine, leads, gets nine. Needs to convert, needs a double here, at least. Matt Susie took out the two seed, the one seed, trying to get the fifth seed knocked out here. A spare, big one in the eighth, 83 in a ball. Let's check out the math here. He's down 21 coming in. He's down 17 right now. 38. Yeah, spare, spare, double strike, something like that he'll need. Good big, it's eight. 91 through eight. Justin Wallace will play the winner tonight. Needs a spare, needs at least a double, maybe a triple. Great run by both these bowlers, both out of the playoffs. Halfway through the season, he gets a spare. One on one on the ball. He is alive. Slim chance here. He's alive but needs a double strike in the tenth. Five spares in the fifth. 
Oh, Moss, he does go! Oh, needs it! Oh, that's just the way it's gone. It does go! A seven second delay strike on Spare! He has a pulse! What a match! 111 through 9, 121 plus 2 in the 10th! Yeah, he, he needs two more strikes, in fact. He needs a 19 fill, essentially, so he needs to strike again. That'll do it. Matt Susi is going to the championship match against Justin Waters. Ten will be scheduled for July 30th at a neutral site to be determined later on. Eight, heck of a comeback. Big rally by Nate Lee's fall short of 129, fifth string. Ends up with a 578. So five. 89 to 578. Matt Susie wins it by 11 pins. Matt Susie is your Northern Conference Atlanta Cannibal Singles Championship winner. Let's see if we can talk to Matt Susie here. I mean, one big string, that's all it took, but Nate pulled his ass off, and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't break anything up, third game. All right, I have to figure out something. I text Lexi, and I'm like, what do I need to do? She goes, slow it down. Yeah, that was your and comment last time, slowing it down, and it paid off for you. Yep. And my question I was going to ask you in the pregame was, how do you know, how can you tell when you're not slowing it down? Oh, sometimes I when mean, I ball, I, I can't. I get, you can't sense it sometimes. I was throwing a good ball. I was on, but I just wasn't breaking it up. And I'm like, all right, what can I do? So I tried switching balls. That didn't work. Still same thing. So that's when I texted her, and she's like, just slow it down a hair. And I did. So now you take on Justin Waters, the only number one seed to survive so far. Your thoughts on bowling Justin Waters for the ACST Championship match in his fourth season? Uh, I bowled him one other time, and that was in the Chicha. And that, I got him by one pen, so... <laughs> It's going to be a tough match. He's a very good bowler. Very consistent bowler. 122 average this year. 121, 122 average bowler. You bowl on great of late. You're having your best year. You're around 118, 119 now. Yeah. This one working. You were, down, you were out of the playoffs like 8th, ninth, and 10th for a while. And all of a sudden, just like me, you came storming back to take the 7th spot. So I had that big series against Nick Leach. And I kind of took off from there. And uh, it just kept going. So like I said, slowed everything down. It started working. This was, I call it my revenge tour because I took out Josh who beat me 14, Winchell who beat me 14, and Nate took 12 from me in regular two season. Two and 40 and you won all three playoff matches. Funny game, isn't it? Very funny. That's why you never give up, folks. You know, it's a whole new season, a whole new start. Can you give us a three letter word to describe winning the ACST Northern Conference Championship of the Atlantic Cannibal Singles Tour? Wow. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Greg, your thoughts on the match tonight? Congratulations to Matt Susi on solving the puzzle, and congratulations, in all seriousness, on solving these lanes here. Big power on those balls, and having a look at the, and by that I mean the fill quality on the spares here, the marks were basically dead even. It was really much more even than it appeared on the scoreboard, and sometimes it's just that game of inches, just those few little degrees on how you attack the head pin, that can make all the difference on the score Even sheet. in Matt's match with John Winchell and Josh Shelley, it could have gone either way. They were so close, those matches. So, our final match in the ACSC Pro Division will be between Matt Susie and Justin Waters. Location and uh, date is tentatively scheduled. For July 30th, Saturday, July 30th, three weeks from say a neutral site in time to be determined. The semi-pro will be Danny Finn, the number six seed, and number two seed, Fianna Kachana out of the north. And we'll be there with you that day live. Also, the final score tonight, Matt Susi punches his ticket in the ACST Championship match with a 589-578 thrilling win from Exeter Lanes, Exeter, New Hampshire. For Greg Guya, I'm Paul Grandstand. So long for now. This has been a presentation of Spread Eagle Productions. Thank you for watching this great game of Canopin Bowling.